I'm just glad to be here because last night uh, I didn't know if I'd be able to answer the bell today because I had all of my teeth pulled. No, I'm sorry. That was watching the Bears offense on Monday Night Football. That's <laughs> I confused the two. Easy mistake. What the hell was that? Well, got to tip the cap to the Minnesota Vikings defense as well. That's true. That's got to tip the cap. They've got some playmakers there. True that. Um, Harrison Smith, and <laughs> we had uh, his uh, fellow Golden Domer and Minnesota Viking tight end Kyle Rudolph on the show last month. And I asked him about... Harrison Smith defollowing de- everybody on uh, or unfollowing everybody on his social media accounts, and he's like, "Well, Harrison's a different sort of guy, and I don't know. I wouldn't read anything into that." And he's still there, and uh, and guess what? Didn't get traded at the trade deadline. Held on to him. He held on to the first errant pass from Nick Foles last night after kind of juggling it, and um, and the Vikings. You could see just how points challenged the Bears were last night. You could see it. And, you know, even if the eye test wasn't telling you what was going on, even if somehow, some way you thought this might be something similar to previous Bears games since they were 5-1 and one, um, or similar games in which they, you know, uh, came back in the fourth quarter of games where there were points and, and first downs challenged, um, that maybe they could put it together in the fourth quarter. All you needed to see was Mike Zimmer's reaction after Cordero Patterson returned the second half kickoff back for a touchdown and um and Patterson treating uh, uh, Dan Bailey as if he was just a stationary <laughs> object moving right around that looked like a video game you know where you just kind of moved your I won't say the word all right I'll say the word joystick I am wearing a cardigan you know as you moved Sorry. your controller around right but anyway you saw Mike Zimmer's reaction, he went and um, treated his special teams coordinator like a Pez dispenser, opened up his head and deposited something within it. And it wasn't candy. You saw that. Zimmer was basically like, we've got this game won with a one-point lead. Okay? Okay. We're up 7-6. We've got this game won. Right. Yeah, for sure. As long as we don't turn it over and as long as we don't allow that to happen, what are we doing kicking it to him? This thing should be kicked into Lake Friggin' Michigan. (laughs) What are we doing here? I think that's its official name, too. So when I saw that, I thought to myself, well, the Bears aren't scoring another point tonight offensively. That that you can be uh, sure of because Zimmer knows this thing is zipped up airtight air airtight as long as they could just not turn it over and do that and sure enough the bears create a have a miscue of their own on special teams muffing a punt which opens the door for the vikings to eventually take a lead that you knew i mean when the vikings went up six it might as well have been 60 and i really feel for bears fans and the bears fan base Because that defense is championship quality. That defense is a championship defense. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if the Bears had an offense that could put three touchdowns on the board? Three. How about about two touchdowns and two field goals? That works. That's even, that's, I'll do the math for you. That's 20 points. But three touchdowns. An offense that scores three times a game in the opponent's end zone, similar to many, if not most, offenses in the NFL. Honestly, give the Bears even the 49ers offense, the B-team 49ers offense. Give the Bears defense, name any other team, not name the Jets. Give them the Jaguars offense. Seriously. I'm serious. You give the Bears the offense that we've seen Jake Luton provide (laughs) over the last couple of weeks with Chark and Cole and Robinson. Luton can sling it, man. I'm telling you, just give him that. How in the world do they put that on the field? Allen Robinson leads the league in 
public displays of sideline anger. I don't know if that's a stat. We need to call what? Next gen stats? Got to call powered by powered by Amazon. <laughs> call them up. Is that a next gen stat? Is that an official stat? Next gen, old gen, current gen. Jen Garner. I mean, what, what do we got? Seriously. It took me a while to figure that one out. Uh, you know, I mean. What's in your wallet? What's in your wallet? How many times can you see Allen Robinson give a death stare to somebody on that sideline or take his yeah. helmet, slam it in frustration, or see a tweet? Allen Robinson has just slammed his helmet in frustration. We get a free Allen Robinson campaign oh, going. Oh, man. I'm, I'm harnessing the Bears fan angst and disappointment and anger. Poor Nick Foles, too. The good, well, good news is apparently Mike Garofolo, my colleague at the NFL Media Group, went on Good Morning Football today and said um, that the Foles injury that had him carted off does not appear to be serious. It's a hip slash leg. And, you know, Matt Nagy, who after the game yeah, last bad. night, was already talking about <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky's possible readiness coming back from injuring himself in the one snap he took over the last month and a half because the Bears are on a bye week, talking about Mitchell's possible readiness to take the controls against the for the Bears. Let me look it up. I don't even need, need to. The Packers. Oh, my gosh. What an absolute, total, unmitigated disaster of a collapse. Once upon a time, 5-1. and one, Tons of smoke, tons of mirrors. Everybody's wondering, you know, who the Bears are. And, you know, the axiom that I was always using, as I always do here, is you are what you are, and you are what you are, which is 5-1, and one, and they are what they are. 5-1 and one team, right? Right. But then there's the other axiom that's been uh, out there for a little bit less of time, but the Bears are who we thought they were. The Bears are who we thought they were. They've lost four in a row. And Trubisky was 3-0. You can do the math. Since moving falls, they have lost twice as much as they've won. These are facts. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.